then can Grace unload her lemon of a car? This fell off. Did you drive here? Yeah. Then you don't need it. Grace Under Fire after Home Improvement, Wednesday at 8, 7 Central here on ABC. What's the matter? What's the matter? On the next Real Stories of the Highway Patrol. Come over here. You're going to get run over. Troopers have their hands full because she's had an armful. Well, she's using heroin or not, but she's loaded on something. And then... You have a problem with me searching your car. No problem that they searched. Big problem, what they found. Bag of crack, bags of marijuana. On the next Real Stories of the Highway Patrol. Weekday evenings at 7 on 17 JKS, Cable 9, Jacksonville. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brian Bosworth. You know, all my life people have had the wrong idea about me. I don't like cops who make up the rules as they go. They say I push things just a little too far. They accuse me of being insensitive. <laughs> they basically say that I lack the ability to get along with others. So just to prove these people wrong, I decided to join a very exclusive and private club. Oh yes, it's very plush. And the membership? Very select. And games? <laughs> we play some games. A perfect place for me, wouldn't you think? You should put that the wrong passenger, buddy! <laughs> Mr. Brian Bosworth requests the pleasure of your company, Stone Cold. Hi, kids. This is the audio commentary for the 1991, Jesus Christ, 91, film Stone Cold starring former NFL star Brian Bosworth. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine, and I'm joined by a guy who's more stone than cold, Justin Nuts Pelosi. How you doing? If you get out of line, I'm going to stone call you, my wife. I'm going <laughs> to beat you up. Well, he's you easy. Make that's, that's... Me a steak. I'm going <laughs> to drink a beer. <laughs> yeah, that's Stone Cold Steve Austin. A different Stone Cold oh, altogether. Okay. <laughs> Justin oh, Pelosi for the worst Stone Cold impersonation of all time. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, he was accused of uh, assaulting his wife. Yes, but I think everything's cool now. He's got a podcast just like us. He's he's one of the family, Justin. We have to, you know. Yeah, he drinks like that. martinis and stuff like that. Remember? Yeah, like yeah. Back in the day, where he was like <laughs> beers for men and martinis and that stuff. Was women and gays <laughs> and now he has like a podcast where he's like well, let's make a manhattan <laughs> can i get a cosmopolitan please <laughs> anybody have a little gin and tonic <laughs> <laughs> mint julep maybe uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> different stone cold we're dealing with stone cold starring brian bosworth and uh, this movie? he is the star of this movie he's in a poster for this movie uh i'm at the zero Zero, zero, sure. zero, ah. Mark, and I'm about to hit the play button. Yeah. Right? Okay. About? Uh-huh. Oh. Justin already came. He's done. Uh, oh, it's MGM. When I see this line, I just think Bond, and now I got to associate it with Stone Group Predictors. <laughs> Stone Group Predictors? <laughs> How long did that last? Mace Newfield. Not like he's related to that didn't last long. Mm, wow. Right now, we the, talked about this on the show a while back. You probably oh, forgot, sorry. Justin. Oh, holy shit. Wait, this movie's just not waiting for me to get my story in. Uh, <laughs> this is the first movie that I saw in a the theater that I fell asleep in. So let's hope that oh. I don't have to sleep in this oh, movie. Oh, that's great. i never seen the end of it because I fell asleep. So I will finally get the climax, the 20-year-old climax. Well, more than 20 years. 28-year-old climax. You never <laughs> finished the film. Never finished it. Blue balls. Was wow. Cool. Yeah. Well, see, here's the thing. So you had a list of movies we could have watched. Then you picked yeah. this. Is that why? Because it's why. Because I was like, this was the movie I first fell asleep in. I never, I never saw the end of it. I know Brian Bosworth pretty well from NFL. Yeah. yeah. College. What is that on our head? Is that a, is that a thermometer? What is that on our head? Uh, <laughs> uh, 
brace. Oh, have you ever seen a headset look like that? Headset like that. Oh, yeah, that's, what they, that's how they have it nowadays. It's shit's clear. You can't tell. Back in the day, man, they had a they had to deal with a lot of that uh, are the uh, equipment on the face there. I I don't believe I've ever seen the jackets at the Matrix Club. The RRs. I mean, look at that jacket. Look look at them shoulder. Oh, it was ninety one. You know. I mean, he looks like a, this was like style a master. I mean, I mean, Byron Bosworth was known for his uh, sports fans. He was known for no, as I know, known for his attitude. He's got the, the, the shaved hair. He's got a bit of an attitude. Yeah, he's also known for being, you know, dish ragged on Monday Night Football by, by Bo Jackson. But uh, you know, that's kind of the end of his career. Was that it? Where's he doing nowadays? I don't know. I think he's an analyst, maybe. Oh wow! That black guy is really sweaty. Let's get that Danny Glover disease. <laughs> I'm two days from ro- robber retirement. <laughs> I was going to retire from Robin. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to have a Scully, I hate that kind of hat. Either have it as a hat or have it all the way down. Don't have it, you know, this is a lot of product placement. We got, we got premium. Because <laughs> they're paying for the movie in the first five seconds. Bananas, apparently. Clorox bleach over there. It's Downy. Here we go. Down. Anywhere else? This is like Michael Bay's wet dream. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I honestly, I kept thinking when we decided to watch this movie if I've ever actually watched it. I don't. I, don't I, don't think, I think I, I talked. I remember talking about it, and I don't think you guys had said you've seen it before. I oh, know. yeah. Yeah. It looks familiar. I, I just can't recall. I've seen twenty minutes of it. <laughs> I just remember. Hey, I there's the Batman, Batman cereal. cereal. <laughs> Batman Ghostbusters. That means this movie who came out in '91 was uh you know filmed in around '89. Yeah, '90. Spinach, like Popeye, get your spinach. It's kind of like Die Hard in a, in a grocery store. I love she'd to feel deaf, by the way, because like the this. shotgun went off right by her head. Yeah, she'd be fucking <laughs> hurting in the ear there. <laughs> He's having a lot of fun, this uh, Brian Bosworth guy. Ritz crackers? Yeah. Gets them off. <laughs> this hey is uh, Home Alone. This is uh, all grown <laughs> this is up. Home Alone. This is what happened to Macaulay when he grew up. <laughs> Kevin grew up. Bobby got a leather jacket. She had this... Uh, yeah. Became a bounty hunter. Oh fuck! I saved everybody. The bounty hunter. Why are they pissed? He saved everybody. Oh! Oh, they're oh. gonna run the medal. So yeah. cool! Put your cool cap text on, guys. You're in the cool club. Everybody does text with a, a, a white text with a black outline, but I got black text with a white outline. Stone cold. So cold. Welcome to the so, Cool Club. Let's hope there's one black biker to not make DJ uncomfortable. Yeah, William Forsythe. William Forsythe. Yeah, he was in The Rock, actually. He's in The Cool Club. He has my favorite line in The Rock. Doesn't he play for the fucking Red Wings? <laughs> he was a <laughs> cop that was interrogating Sean Connery. I just remember that from William Forsythe. Cool Club. Dixie, you I should be off your shoulder. shoulders. Richard E. Grant? Is that, is that him? <laughs> is that him? I don't know. We'll find out. Huh? Billy Million. <laughs> This is the movie that DJ fell asleep to. I fell asleep at this point because I was like, there's no black people. This is a bunch of rednecks. Yeah. I, I vaguely remember that now because I, I was telling you I fell asleep during um, uh, the remake. That's right there. Yeah. yeah. Which, which, which movie fell asleep in? Uh, the fucking uh, Miami Vice remake. Oh, you, I loved that movie. Yeah, I fell asleep during that. Let me ask you a question. He just fired three shots. There's people behind him. Yep. How is he not hitting them? <laughs> the bullets only go so far, TJ. You, you, you got to look at the perspective of how far the bullet can I don't travel. Think that's how bullets work, Justin. Well, ask JFK. I, mean, <laughs> I can't. He's dead. <laughs> not a natural causes, buddy. Exactly. <laughs> Wait a second. Sh- Wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. He just used an Uzi. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? How did I fall asleep in this? Yeah, How did I fall- motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. He used a, a calico machine gun to blow up a fucking Volvo. Fucking after Uzi. he's shooting his friend. <laughs> what is going on? Slow he's down. A, he's either the worst shot. Or the best. <laughs> the best. <laughs> you, you have a bit. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? <laughs> Justin, I need you to rewind the movie. Welcome to the cool need- club, Jesus. <laughs> Tell Jesus. He's way cool, welcome. Jesus. <laughs> Did they just shoot a priest at the Christian? We're just going to ignore that what this happened? Is this a montage of craziness? What's going on here? Paul Warfield? I think the editor thought he was part of the cool club. <laughs> you ain't part of the cool club. So Forsyth, We're out of line. I like, I like Forsyth as a heavy. He's a good actor, Forsyth. 
He looks he looks really thin in this though. Yeah, yeah. He got big and he was in a wasn't he in Boardwalk Empire for a little bit? Uh yes. Uh yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, huh. yeah. That's weird. I can't remember. Uh oh, this guy's going up. <laughs> you say something about being thin? <laughs> Whoa! Not a shot I would have probably. Whoa! Welcome to the Cool Club, Judge. Two explosions in literally six minutes. Murdered is an understatement. I don't know. Boat accident, most likely. Well, when I was walking in my house, and I got first off, Boz loves bananas. All right, and loves stickers. them. Stickers. He don't open them like any regular person he no, opens one like name. a cool guy minute made juice why not <laughs> why not 100 percent concentrated and okay gotta be, well, healthy, we're kinda, man. gotta be healthy we're kind of going over the edge here this is I mean, dude this is a, he calls this one tummy ache <laughs> is it, does this movie know what it's doing <laughs> putting shells in it is that tabasco sauce you well, can't drink for, for the Mexican audience. You can't really liquefy literally what is nature's glass. I don't know what you're... And nature already has glass. 45 year sentence is lenient? <laughs> okay. 45 <laughs> years for, for men who are in their 50s? Saw so his roof. Is he working, living up at Chipotle? What's going on? <laughs> now, I, I usually... Oh, it's for an iguana. Never okay. mind. I'm about to say, if that's for a dog, it's a problem. He's a cool guy. DJ, are God, you part of the Cool Guy Club? It would be great if he just bit off his fucking face right now. <laughs> 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 it's a fucking dinosaur. Yeah, he does. Those things are known for having really nasty mouths. Like, is this, this the one James Bond jumped up on? No, that was a, a, a. This is a Gila monster. I think that was a Komodo dragon, or vice versa. I can't remember. Well, you're a cool guy. I think you he has a Komodo dragon. Things. In, yeah, yeah. I know that guy. Hey, it's fucking uh, that guy. He played. He uh, is, is that really? Is this really the story of grown up fucking Kevin from Home Alone? <laughs> yep. Yes, it is. I know that guy too. I can't remember. Herman Monster. These are all Herman Monster. Herman Monster. There you go. In the the movies in the nineties, after mm -hmm. TV movies, whatever. F F. Uh, not my Fred McMurray, Fred McMurray, Fred Mc whatever his name. Is. George Frank Cunningham. I don't trust a guy with three names. I don't think he's alive still. Mm. Don't call me on that. I can't remember much right now. <laughs> might might be because of all the <laughs> the nuts. The nuts I've eaten. <laughs> Justin's been eating a lot of peanuts to get ready for Stone Cold because he knew this was going to be a bald busting adventure. This is rated R, right? Oh, big dude, we just saw a priest get shot through tits. a fucking stained glass window. Is there tits in this movie? We're going to do a line of I cocaine every William time we Forsyth's see his tits. tits. Does William Forsyth's tits count? Because I just saw those. All right, I'm going to do a line of cocaine every time I see his tits. Oh, here we go. This is going to be, Justin's going to be dead in the next 10 minutes. That's probably why I fell asleep when I was a child <laughs> watching this movie. I was doing lines. <laughs> I do live in Miami. I mean, really? Did anyone think that haircut was cool back then? Oh, God, everyone did. You weren't alive when Brian Bosworth was uh, kicking no. around. He was like the fucking it guy. He was the Kanye of white people in this time. Oh, so they're both pretty dumb, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame. I just remember when Bo Jackson literally ran him over on Monday Night Football, and that was the end of Brian Bosworth. So he died. No, no, he, he's alive. He just, he, it was really embarrassing. <laughs> so it's really bad. It's just really bad. Google it, folks. I'll wait. Let's Google uh, Bo Jackson, Brian Bosworth. You'll see. It's not good. Mr. Bo Jangles, motherfucker. No, no, different guy. Different guy. <laughs> That's a racial epitaph of a restaurant. I can't remember where the black guy's from, too. I know him. He's time. been in a bunch of stuff, that guy. Yeah. Character actors, these guys. There's a lot of, lot of people in this movie. So Brian Bosworth's character, which we, we're just going to call him Stone Cold, got suspended for saving a woman in a grocery store? With uh, mean, braces, yeah. That was a weird edit. I'm in your car, now I'm at your front door. Yeah, so, okay, <laughs> that's kind of edit. That, that kind of edit where you have the characters in one scene, and then you cut to them in a completely different setting. You got to have like an like a establishing shot or a, a dissolve. I mean, oh, whoa. Oh. He does like bananas. Oh. <laughs> How about a banana hammock? 
this is what you guys did in the 90s jesus uh, apparently christ. jesus christ put the banana hammock away i remember he did play football so he's probably used to walking around half nude much of, around a bunch of men see he doesn't have an electric toothbrush mm-hmm I don't know how I feel about oh, that. his name is Joe, huh? What's his real name? Look, look up his name. Look up his name in the movie. We just call him Stone Cold, but apparently his name is Joe. Stone Cold. I want to call. Why should be Joe Cool or Joe Cold? Joe Stone. Oh, speaking of uh, nudity. Hey. Yep, a lot of cocaine. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take a shot. I'll take a shot. I thought. I thought it was the uh, fucking dinosaur. She hasn't uh, gone fully nude yet. Maybe it's PG-ish. I saw some nipple. I saw some nipple. I love how she's just randomly, like, we haven't, like, that would have been a good shot, like, to, a good scene to have between the the two edits there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This editor just, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pussy (laughs) shot. (laughs) Holy shit. This editor does not care, care, man. He doesn't understand what a transition is. Woo. Yeah, so his name in this yes. movie yes. is Joe. Joe Stone. No. Joe Cold? No. Ready? Joe Stone Cold? Joe Huff. Oh, H-U-F-F. That's, that's, that's disappointing. Tit for Tat's a really good name. You go Joe Huff. You know what Lance's name is? Which one's Lance? This guy? No, nah, no, nah. he's like the bad guy. He's, he's got to go after or whatever. Oh, w- w- uh, William Forsythe's name? No, nah, no, nah. Lance uh, Henderson. Oh, Henderson's in this movie. I didn't yeah. even see him. I missed Ains it. James oh, Copper. James Copper. Chains. Chains Copper. It's even better. Yeah. Now we're good talking. Now we're talking names. Homophobic? What is, what is he phobic of? No, Sam's still alive. That's Sam right there. He's still alive. He's Thought been he in dead. stuff. This guy. This guy's been in a lot of stuff. I think. If I had to guess, a lot of stuff I've seen too. He's a cool guy. Look, he's got the cool guy hat on. Cool guy hat. Got the bandana, the 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 gray shirt. Though that guy behind him in the red shirt doesn't look that cool. I guess he's the bouncer. Yes, looks like the guy from Walking Tall. But man, this cameraman is giving her a uh, a prostate exam. Go for the pussy shot. (laughs) Holy crap! Literally, must be a foreigner. What? What? I'm sorry. We 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 even got distracted. <laughs> we're watching a movie. We're watching men watch men. Watch watch a movie or watch women. We're gonna get another cooter shot. This is another one. <laughs> Director of photography or a slash gynecologist. <laughs> I need I need to hit my three cooter shot quota for the month. <laughs> you know what movie has a really crazy shot like that, which would you would never expect. No, I know. One of my favorites, Dragnet, has a shot just like I'll that. Give you, I'll give you another one. Mm. Quantum of Solace. Oh, it does. It does. It's got a weird shot. And you know who that particular actress is related to? Who? She's the granddaughter. Oh, no. Of? Do you know? Do no, you know? give me. Do you Ian know? Fleming. No. Oh, I was about to say that. would be crazy. <laughs> What? Oh, I am. I'm trying to give you. The, that, don't say Daniel Craig. Uh, no, no. Hey, let's see. Hitler kind of ruined this mustache. Charlie Chap. Oh, Charlie. Iona, Iona, the girl from uh, Game of Thrones got stabbed Game in the belly. Thrones. That's her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was in um, she was in Taboo with Tom Hardy, and uh, yeah, she's yeah, also yeah. in Black Mirror. She's a really she's good, good actress. She's good. Yeah. But that shot. Oh my god, I always hated it because it's like. It's Everybody like it's like it. an extreme close up of her crotch area as she's getting off the bed. I gotta, I gotta rewatch that. I didn't know she was in that movie. Yeah, that was the that was the one time I was in a theater and I I looked around. I was like, well, really? In a Bond film? Really? <laughs> Why not? Forsyth's the chewing scenery. Look at that. Forsyth yeah. always just looks like a fucking crazed mad dog, isn't he? Probably. Who is a cop? Guy. He's just like fuck. I don't care about the rules. He's sweat cop too. Movie. Must. Come on. Why is he he's sweating so much? much? He's probably on so much meth right now. <laughs> Bad shit. Oh, yeah, he is. Look at that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you see that guy? 
Yeah. Blinking and twitching out. Oh. These guys are too old to be here, by the way. Come on, oh. men don't punch men in the Yeah, that's that's a that's a dance. That's a low blow, buddy. You know how badass of a fighter you gotta be to literally pick up a man, hold him in the air, then slam him on the ground? Pretty badass. I mean, I mean, wrestlers don't do that in actual fights they're in. So badass, he might be a part of the uh, Kuga Club. Kuga Club. Oh, something I need the Kuga Club. Don't mess the hair up. Hey, man, watch out for my gel. Kuga gel. <laughs> Using that uh, L.A. gear. I mean, he threw that guy 35 feet. <laughs> he wasn't a quarterback. He was a uh, defensive player. Lineman, linebacker. I'm going to say linebacker. I love that crystal earring, you know He's what I'm saying? Crystal earring. And... <laughs> I mean, he has fur on his coat. Cool guy. <laughs> he looks like Jon Snow. <laughs> that coat. Cool guy. Look at that. It's cool guy drink. Crack it out. drinking. You no, know, is that is it kind of offensive that he has a Gila monster, Komodo dragon, whatever the fuck you want to call it? But he has a like a crocodile coat. Isn't that like me wearing a dog dog know, jacket with owning a the... dog? Maybe he fucks that thing. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's like a role play. He's like Ted, he's like fucking Buffalo Bill with like the, the furries. <laughs> hey, is that Anthony Anderson with the red band? <laughs> Rewind, kids. You'll see Anthony Anderson with a red band. <laughs> Goose from Top Gun. Yes. <laughs> or ER. For, exa- for, for a second, I thought you said Louis Anderson. Louis. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm a confederate of biker. Louis hey, Anderson. Hey. <laughs> Whoa! He's very conservative at this biker rally. I, I was gonna say I was really expecting like a, whole <laughs> like a, a big Confederate flag jacket, or <laughs> I was at least a cape. Yeah, I, <laughs> I want to see a guy on it with a cape with a with a Confederate like, cape. That'd be dope. I'm I'm black. I think that'd be dope. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have one. <laughs> I think I might own one actually. I did own the Dukes of Hazard Dukes of Hazard pedal card, the General Lee pedal well, card. I, I didn't even go that far. Yeah, I love that thing. You're going to pull out an Uzi and shoot him? <laughs> it's just like he did with his guy. His friend's Fucking beer. miss him. Five feet away. Oh, this is like Fast and the Furious with bikes. Oh, right before. He's got that. Wait, how did he get so... How did he ju- go on a hyperspeed there for a second? <laughs> Brian Bosworth doesn't know what speed limits are. Because he's the cool guy. So cool. Is his aerodynamic. I mean, God, another. This is, this is, take a shot every time somebody picks somebody up over their head and slams to the ground. I mean, come on, bro. <laughs> it's like Mortal Kombat over here. Literally. Ooh. That guy got launched like a, from a trampoline. That's, that's, fi- that's five shots we've, we've seen. Like five different times you've seen a guy get picked up, up, up over somebody's head in this movie. We're t- 19 minutes in, folks. <laughs> Five times. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Uh, Brian Bosworth is in Arian's wet dream, by the way. Ooh. Arian wet dream? Does he have blue eyes? Uh, like, he has to have blue eyes. He's got the blonde hair. Right, he's bleaching that, though. They don't care. Hooker by crook. They don't care? They don't care. It's got not the guest jeans on. That's Lan Henderson. I didn't even fucking recognize him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Plus, his name was in the beginning. <laughs> I, I didn't see it. I was more <laughs> so much cool guy stuff going on. I missed it. So like, much cool guy me? stuff. <laughs> Too cool for me to see. Too cool for school. These guys don't go to school. That was a football move by, you know, your boy. Boss, Brian Bosworth, ex NFL linebacker. Who do you play for? Seattle. Seattle, oh. Seattle Seahawks. For a, for a time, I think he played for Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma State University. I think that was it. You guys, you can check me on the fact checker. I'm not sure. Hey, I'll buy it. I'll buy that for a dollar. Come on, Stone. He's going by the, the the alias Stone. Come on, Stone. Has he met his match? Stone on the ropes. This is what these cool guys do. They just beat the shit out of each yeah, other. And then they drink a beer after because, you know, beer. that's what cool guys do in the sand pit. Landon Henderson just walks around like a king. He's just observing his subjects. Huh. These two going to, like, 
be lovers gonna have, at one they're gonna, point? They're going to have sex right they're in the middle. That's how you fuck. end the fight. You have to penetrate. Guy had an Einstein shirt on. A biker with an Einstein shirt? That's um, unorthodox. It's different. Yeah. Einstein must, must be part of the cool guy club. This is kind of like the opening scene of Black Panther with M'Baku and T'Challa. Fighting for yeah, the I was movie. thinking uh, one of our favorite movies. Bring me Stargrove. Stargrove. Okay, look up Stargrove. <laughs> just, 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 look, just do it. <laughs> Don't look up Stargrove. <laughs> <laughs> he's one of the greatest villains of all time what are you talking about Star Trek? That, that's not the villain's name I just like saying that <laughs> Stargrove Stargrove hey man leather bandana how, how, how like a, a much of a badass do you have to be did he change yeah. I thought he was wearing a different outfit probably was She supposed to be hot because I'm not sure. Now we're in a movie with Brian Bosworth who cannot act, but when you cast a Lance Henriksen, you know what you're getting. You're getting just a fucking badass actor who just knows how to make shit taste like salami. You know what I'm saying? He can he can just he, he, lived, it, that shit. he lived it. I mean, good God, this guy. He was Bishop for Christ's sake. He held his own with Sigourney fucking Weaver. She's got, she just looks like an STD, doesn't she? I'm a walking AIDS. <laughs> this is the 90s. 91. <laughs> this is the precipice. <laughs> I just had this immune I mean, deficiency. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, I meant to. Uh, take my vitamins. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I'll fuck you. I don't have sex with girls who want to give me sex. I, I, I only have sex with men with beard. What? What? I mean, I meant to say, like, no, really no. Hot chicks, really hot, hot chicks. That would have, that would take an interesting turn for a movie like this. <laughs> you know, it might be. He's a, he's a one minute. I mean, I'd be okay movie. with it. Not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'd just be. No, like, that would make this movie way more interesting than it's supposed to be. <laughs> like, wait a minute. He has to pretend to be, you know, this man's man, but he's really fighting with his own sexuality in a biker gang. That'd yeah. Be, and an undercover FBI agent. That's just too interesting for this movie. Lance Henderson, man, is eating the scenery, smiling. He, it. he knows that he's the best thing in this that. movie already. There's my barber. There you go. Henderson pulling off an SSJ. This is why uh, Matt's yeah. not on this podcast. There's a lot of Nazi per- <laughs> It's a lot. A lot of Nazis Whoa. in this movie. <laughs> a lot of titties. <laughs> That's Macaulay Culkin pushing a stroller. Yo, of all the things I thought I'd never see here in this fucking park. A black guy and a little kid pushing a baby in a stroll. Got Nazi flags <laughs> everywhere, tits. Even the district attorney gets fucking nicknames? That's whip. That's whip. whip. <laughs> He's laughing at the nickname too. Whip Whipperton. What is bullshit? I'm from another movie called Rambo. Have you seen it? <laughs> <laughs> He's really, he's really got the outfit going there, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks like. Um, I'd be like, I, where, where is he? I can't see him. Can't find he's got, him. He, he's with the Che Guevara fucking cussing ball. What's going yeah. on here? <laughs> I can't talk to you. you. Keep disappearing into your surroundings. Mm-hmm. Can't even see you. It's a floating bed b- beret. This is the most slimiest fucking district attorney commercial ever. <laughs> Have you ever seen a district attorney commercial? Yes. Who am, I, who am I supposed to be rooting for? The Nazis? The, 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 the crooked district attorney? I know. I'm feeling like we're rooting for the Nazis here. <laughs> I mean, what am I? It was this Inglorious Bastards? What's going on here? Well, so essentially, he's undercover. He, he, oh, yeah, he's he, FBI. He's traded, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that Rorschach over there? Looks like Jackie or Hilly a little bit. Where is this at? Oh, man. Fuck it. This is in America? <laughs> I don't know. I want to say Arkansas. <laughs> it's as close as I can Sounds get. about right. Well, he it's Brian Bosworth, so it might be like California, like around that area. Wow. It's one play to play pool. I thought that was Susan for a second. <laughs> for Missing Link? What do you think the stench smells like? Oh, man, it just smells like fucking peroxide. Are you talking about uh, the, the bar, not peroxide? Uh, 
<laughs> How much more man? Cool what? guy. Is that is that foreshadowing to their homosexual nature that he wanted to penetrate a man's butt? I hope. Okay. It's a painting. It's Rembrandt. Have you ever heard of him? <laughs> it's paint by the numbers, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> There's only three numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine what you could do with three fucking numbers. Yeah. What a cool guy. That's a really Aki Broby best. I killed a fucking cop. Where'd you get it from? Killed him. I killed a fucking cop. Say, it. say, it. say, you killed a fucking and I'm talking about the pistol. <laughs> Why is everybody sweaty except for John? They got air conditioning at their Nazi biker bar. Come on. They're going to shoot him. Yeah, they're going to test it out, right? Test it out real quick. Cool guy. I'm the cool guy. Again, that's number seven, by the way. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. He's I'm gonna married. fuck him. He's my lover. I mean, <laughs> it's balls of steel. I say no way two can play. Stick him. Everybody has to talk kind of like a cliche, but really like a gritty cliche, like, you know, like two birds, one stone or some, some bullshit like that. <laughs> you gotta say, weird, you gotta say really cheap cliches, but really gritty and mean. That's my flag. My steeple, look inside, here's the people, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll peel your skin off in a knife dipped in shit. That's a great line. Because <laughs> I believe Lance would do it too. Oh, that's <laughs> He's having a ball in this movie, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's getting paid to have, <laughs> have fun. A Come ball. on. Yeah, man. He's just saying, I want to. What am I playing? What? Nazi biker leader? I'm in. When did you fall asleep? That's what I want to know. I don't know. I was too young to watch this movie. I watched this movie when I was 13 years old. So, yeah, yeah. I was probably just like, eh, I don't understand this biker culture. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I remember the movie theater that I was in. So, it doesn't even exist anymore. When is Stone Cold Steve Boulevard in uh, Broward County? He's wearing chainmail, that guy. Let's <laughs> 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 go get some cool ranch Doritos because we're cool. Which, what do you call this track, Justin? What this? What song is this? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it I sounds like a of, fake song, just, like a fake. I just song. thought of that Three Musketeers movie. <laughs> David Hasselhoff and Cheech Marin Four in John Reese Day. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out where this this takes place. This is, it's like a Terminator ode right here. Pensacola, Florida. Hey, he's coming to my neck of the woods. Hey. He's coming to the theater I fell asleep in when I watched this movie. Kick your ass. <laughs> I'm going to kick my ass. You fell asleep in my movie? <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, we just Get, cut it. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> he's going from left to right, and he went right to left. You know, he's a long travel. That editor was like, I get I to know. edit this movie? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> no, this is his formal wear. I said, Batman? No, I don't want to edit that. I want to no, edit no, no, no. Stone Cold. Stone Cold song, starring Brian Bosworth. Oh, uh, it's what's her name? Who's that? I forget her name. Okay. But I know who she is. Hey. 
and that guy too. There's a lot of there's a lot of a lot of character lot actors of character in actors in this movie. That woman's too old to be there. Don't be the old woman in the club. Is he dressed like a priest? I mean, what's going on with this this outfit here? Looks like a skunk and a half. <laughs> Pepe Le Pew. Yeah. You don't do that, man. You got great moves, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, well, come on, what? <laughs> Even the 90s, that doesn't make sense. See, you see those moves in bed. <laughs> what? <laughs> but, uh, okay. He said uh, too uh, much. Too much to drink. Oh, what is his friend, his partner dressed like? Is it, it's Miami. He's doing the Crockett and Tubbs thing. I see what he's doing. That's it's pretty Miami to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've lived here all my life. I've never worn. Well, okay, I take it back. I have worn a white jacket. <laughs> I've taken. I take it back. <laughs> I'd just be afraid you get something on it, you know. Yeah, you know, it was very taxing going to a nightclub in a white jacket. Dry cleaning business must have been off the roof. Oh my God, it's crazy. Is this the airplane hangar from Bad Boys in Opelika, Florida? I think it is. The original Bad Boys. Yeah, I think this is where they did uh, it's a flex. You forgot your boarding pass. That, that scene. It's probably just a soundstage, but I just like to I believe they felt bad. Stone Cold was filmed in the same airport as Bad Boys. There's probably a plaque that says Stone Cold 1991 was <laughs> Martin filmed. Martin Lawrence shot a man here. <laughs> Look with the kid. When he was skinny. So you got to keep saying cliched lines, but you got to say them with a gritty voice. Ugh. This spit on the cameraman? <laughs> Why am I in this movie? <laughs> a matching set. His name is Tool. Her name is Nancy. <laughs> be great if his name was Nancy. Her name was Tool. I was gonna say, how do we not know? <laughs> we don't know which one's way which. around. You got a member? Later in a completely different film. Biloxi, Mississippi. There we go. There's your answer. His name is John Stone, but his real name is John Huff. John Huff. Didn't even want to change the uh, first name. First huh? name? I guess he didn't want to like, people keep saying John, he keeps turning. It's like, oh crap, my name's Bill. Sorry. <laughs> and Stone is cold. Stone is cold. John Stone, Stone cold. That guy just, he looks like he's related to uh, Jackie or Hale a little bit. Yeah, I, I buy it. He's got the cool guy jacket on now. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Not even using the proper signal. Gotta use your blinker there, Buzz. I've seen this guy before, and it's bothering me. Why is this yeah, Asian? Oh, this is a whorehouse. Bothering me. She's the madam. That she's the Heidi flies at his whorehouse. <laughs> they work real hard, Justin. They work real hard. A lot of jobs. They I, gotta do. I wouldn't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. A guy, they... a guy told you. <laughs> Whoops. Whoa. Okay. That's pretty He's cool. The bomb. <laughs> Nobody else heard that? Uh, I guess not. <laughs> Nobody heard the grenade go off? In, in the small Biloxi town? Who the fuck is this guy? It's a fucking skunk coming. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, it's a it's huge. Is that, is, that, is that fake Tom Sizemore driving a car? <laughs> fake a place to eat restaurant. <laughs> I've been there. Ignore that. Look at that. Okay, that black guy is the guy from the guy that we said we've seen him before. He was in Rocky Five. He was the prime, uh, okay. the prime king guy. That's why I, I know where it was. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah. Oh. That's some bad ADR, buddy. No, 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 no. It's pretty bad ADR. No, no. <laughs> it's gonna gonna just pull that out there that's, that's pretty important. fucking terrible <laughs> was like, on like i was adr in the movie for a second there. <laughs> Oof, that was rough i think that i like that guy that was behind them wait did he he just put on an accent <laughs> his Biloxi accent he's probably been doing it the whole time he just didn't notice There's a guy in this movie whose uh, IMDb picture is Arnold Schwarzenegger because he's the guy that put the cigarette out on Arnold Schwarzenegger's chest in Terminator 2. But uh, he's not in his own picture. <laughs> it's Arnold you know, Schwarzenegger. If I was him, I'd have that same photo. Same photo. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wrong hospital. You know, I got to say, I am I want to see more scenes like that in movies where somebody just has a grenade and tosses at somebody as they drive by. <laughs> I mean, it, it worked really good. Yeah, well, it was great. Well, apparently, it didn't work too good. No. Two Face. I'm still alive. <laughs> Tell me how I. What was that name they called me, Gordon? <laughs> hey, you got some of them. That was an IV. We're shot. Nah, die for that. Fuck Face? Fuck Face. Fuck Face. <laughs> No, the oh. other one. <laughs> <laughs> when I threw that hand grenade, Harvey, and uh, on your, your, you and your, Bosworth! <laughs> I was locked up in this chair. The other one. How <laughs> <laughs> many John fucking Stone. names do you have for me down there? <laughs> Domino's Pizza is fair. Yeah, the, the product placement really mm, is, just is amazing. It's kicking it good gonna jerk him off in bed come on with the dominoes you see christopher nolan saw this movie and was like you know what i got a good idea for two-face i got a good idea i do i do like the his makeup the, yeah, the way they, they did that they had to do it real real deal that back in the day it's really good yeah they <laughs> they burned him for real <laughs> a real burn you're gonna be in this movie or not <laughs> really I am. oh here's the whip master yeah yeah, I'm gonna be in Dick Tracy coming soon. Yeah, he is it. Dick. He's flat top. Oh, that's where Foresight's most. I know this might have actually came on after <laughs> ninety-one, right? Yeah, Foresight's great, man. No, it would have a grenade would have <laughs> being thrown at it you. Would have. It's literally gonna. Unless he had a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah. You like water? Some dirty water. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fan of water. <laughs> What are you talking, are you talking about water, huh? I jerked that, off in that. It, that's like that shitty Dasani shit. I'm talking about Zephyr fucking Hills, I'm man. Hey, watch your, your mouth. Tap floor <laughs> weather. I got that shit from Fiji. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You're full of shit, Stone. Well, did he just say WAPS? Hey, 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 easy, hey I'm easy, done. Easy, Belisa. Easy, easy. I'm done. You only see, I've only seen one black guy. You don't see me complaining. Okay. <laughs> and, and Domino's Pizza. Movie. Real nice, guys. Real fucking nice. <laughs> Real nice. <laughs> Real fucking nice Domino's pizza. <laughs> I thought that was I thought that was Lennon right there. <laughs> He's got the uh got the waterfall, the Texas waterfall there going on there with that mullet. Well top Lennon was like that. Is that fucking Fiji water? <laughs> you I'm, I'm, I heard great things. I really want to try it. They charcoal filter that fucking thing. Oh, I thought there was going to be a helmet with a guy's face in it. I'm just going to assume. That's what I thought, but it was empty. Yeah. Clearly from the shot. I'm pretty sure I saw a spinal column. He's an undercover FBI agent who condones decapitation? Yeah, well, you know. You got to do what you got to do. He, he'll never be head of a major corporation. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's always thinking ahead. Maybe head, huh? head of the class. <laughs> always wear your helmet. That, uh, no, I don't Damn think it, it works. That didn't work really. <laughs> Christ. 
crank, huh? Crank kids was kind of like crystal meth before crystal meth. It's still around. It's more of a biker drug. Keeps you, keeps you. Now you can get it at your local Walmart. <laughs> Target also has it too. He kind of looks like Shawn Michaels a little bit there. And Fiji water. Fiji water. For at least a month. A month supply of Fiji water. This guy's in a good, um, Whip is in a different movie where he's just like the fucking TV guy in RoboCop. It's like, hey, I'll buy that for a dollar. I'm also running for district attorney. <laughs> you can take that to the bank. <laughs> it's essentially what he is. He's the take that to the bank guy. That's it. He couldn't do this now. Not with a DVD, sense. buddy, or or death. sorry, Netflix death. streaming. Death, death. He's That's a pretty movie. damn good fast forward. He's a better editor than the editor of this you movie wanna... that he's in. <laughs> we all got to practice our Lance Hendrickson laugh. It's it's it's, it's a fucking quintessential gravelly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. <laughs> It's a lot of candles. Pretty sure Ooh. that's a fire hazard. Especially with the books. Was he bathed in Vaseline? Oh my God, he's bathed in fucking crank. <laughs> I'm high enough now. Where the hell is this compound? <laughs> I told you, Biloxi, Missouri, or Mississippi. Right? Where? It's Biloxi. I, told I, you. I just, I need to know. He's got a rope for, for Where, reference. Is, is he in a fucking. Is in a Where jungle? is this place? Is he in a fucking jungle? Is that George of the fucking jungle? That's a really inconvenient way to open the door. He is pretty badass, though. He is pretty cool. I mean, even for a Nazi, it's pretty cool. Cool club. He's in the cool club. You know why they made him Nazis, right? Because these guys are so cool, you, you don't want to root for them. Got to have a Nazi. You know, I don't know. Smile. I'm kind of rooting for him. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say about us? I don't know. We got a lot of explaining to do to Matt. That's what explains. Oh, shit. What do you mean you were rooting for the Nazis? Well, you know. Yeah, but they were American Nazis. American Nazis. The other, on the other, opposite side, it's Brian Bosworth. I mean, can I root for Brian Bosworth? I mean, come on. I mean, it's not the KKK. A little bit worse. A little bit worse. A little bit worse. Then again, who's comparing the two? <laughs> I think he's gonna he, shoot her. <laughs> I thought he was gonna shoot. <laughs> See, I could I could watch the scenes with these two fucking guys together because it, this is the movie I want to watch. Lance Henderson and William Forsythe just fucking just just going ah, at each other for like five fucking. Minutes. And he dies from carbon monoxide poisoning. Ah, hey, you gotta open a window. Nah, I open a fucking window. I'm okay. cool. You are what you eat. <laughs> I breathe the air. What? 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 <laughs> I mean, I eat Domino's. Like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Exxon. Ooh, is this before the, or after the spill? Can't remember when the spill was. Oh, they meet at a gas station bathroom? <laughs> huh? An Exxon gas station bathroom. Bikers would not be caught dead putting Exxon on their bikes. It's called no, give me a... Just give me a strong I Come in Peace vibe. Another movie we should do, by the way. Uh, I Come in Peace with um, Lundgren and the guy from Dream On. Where he was like, uh, Lundgren was like the big, you know, brody cop, but he had like a sense of style. And then fucking the Dream On guy was like the nerdy, you know. Yeah, but he wasn't part of the cool guy club. He wasn't part of the cool guy club. Well, Dolph Lundgren was part of the cool guy club. Dolph Lundgren's fucking cool. He's, He's still fucking badass. cool. He's a pimp. It's a fucking fish underwater. <laughs> he is. <laughs> He's, you know what's funny? I watched Creed 2 and uh, I, Creed, 2, Creed 2 is not as good as Creed 1. But you no. know, who knows who's really, really good in Creed 2? Dolph fucking Lundgren's fucking great in that movie. Yeah, he's pretty good. And he has like a, like a, like a storyline that's like compelling. Like, oh shit, I want more of that. They should have did more of that. <laughs> they could make a Drago movie. I'd be in. Yeah, that's what they should do. <laughs> I lost everything after that fight. When the curtain fell. <laughs> it's like punching iron. Got the assless shops going on there. I got the army. Got the fucking U.S. Army. These guys look like they're in the army like fucking Don Knotts looks like they're in the fucking army. Show me your vapors. You should be used to that. You're Nazis. 
<laughs> Rolling papers because I smoke because I'm bad. <laughs> You're littering, sir. The worst guards of all time. You had one job. One like job. Guns pulled as soon as they crossed the bridge, man. Are they going to do a little Wrath of Khan, put a little thing in their ear kind of thing? You, I, I don't know you, but you, I never forget the face. Mr. Chekhov. Dapping it up. It's too sweet. That was a fucking uh, NWO yeah. fucking thing. Second in heaven. This is bad. Oh, no. What was the, what's the trick there? I, I don't get the trick. You put him in a crate for what? Why wouldn't you kill him first, then put him in the crate? Yeah, that made more sense. You, you, you ruin the integrity of the packaging that you're going to send the gift in. You... I think it would have been cooler if they delivered them alive. <laughs> she had second thoughts. William Force is just throwing around women like they're fucking Tic Tacs. I mean, I've been there. I've done that. <clears throat> oh, what, 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 what are you talking about, Justin? What are you, what uh, are you I'm not allowed about? to talk to a court order. Oh, wow. Wow, I didn't know that. Is that Danny McBride back there? I think it is Danny McBride. <laughs> You're bikers. What? What? Where the hell did the moral police show up? <laughs> Boy. Seriously. I'm You're Lance Henriksen. What? You're, You're surprised by this? I, I was a fucking cyborg and I had fucking more humanity than the you know, I knew playing right now with you when we went to go order Domino's and you said let's get pizza hot what do you think I tipped the guy with I, I used the tip of my knife what, what you had to get about? the cheese steaks <laughs> what's going on now this is going to be cool we're going to race to the death are they about to draw and quarter him oh no they're about to give him a they're about to do a little uh, Jamie Lannister on him here Ooh, ooh, this is rough. This is a terrible Geico commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Geico, save 50% on your... <laughs> Shit, I I'm signing up for Geico. <laughs> please, God, please. Just, just just take my it. money. Take my money, please. <laughs> Give it to the Aryan race. Please. He lost that race. Is that a bullet or a... What is that necklace he's got on? My God. God only knows. Oh, I, I think it's the crystals. He's wearing, wearing it or... crystals. This guy. I think it's the earring she's wearing, the lightning bolt Aryan thing. <laughs> I don't know. Got a skull <laughs> ring. I guess I'm supposed to feel for this girl who's clearly have who clearly has HIV. Yeah, she Big does. Bad Anna. What has he she ever done? She's got AIDS. It's my Donald Sterling impersonation, folks. Donald Sterling was a racist owner of the LA Clippers who said Magic Johnson did nothing. He had AIDS. That's what I was impersonating there. Here's your reference. <laughs> Every man reference. Not do nothing when his first name is magic. <laughs> he could do it all. He made A's disappear. That's pretty magical. Yeah. <laughs> she's got handcuff earrings because she's against the love. She's always ready to get down and dirty. Yeah. When she's part of the cool guy club. You know, this lake looks like the same lake in Fire Down and Below. You kind of was thinking that. Um, <laughs> but... Are these movies all intersecting in our brains or? I don't know. <laughs> they must have not really gave much thought as well to their movie making. I got a feeling this girl is going to die pretty bad and be used to piss. Ooh. Girlfriend, big dick? That... F fuck big dick? That, fuck. That, I don't. What? It's a lot going on there. <laughs> Geico for Geico. Geico. bad driving. <laughs> What, I don't... Say fifteen percent. Is that a, your car insurance with switching the guy? <laughs> the, I think the the product placement is out of control. In this movie. I mean, even the brands are fucking branded. <laughs> I've never met a woman like you before. Bosworth is fucking trying to act his ass off in this scene. Too bad this girl is marginally attractive at best. <laughs> you ever get fucked by a skunk? <laughs> You ever seen that Warner Brothers cartoon, Pepe Le Pew? 
As long as you do anal, because you can't get AIDS by anal. Yeah, well, well, that's really how you kind of do get AIDS. But well, never mind. What? I was on the football field. What? what? I can't think straight. What? what? Concussion. Tell the truth. Oh, okay, there is bodies. I didn't think there was bodies in there for a second. Box idiots have arrived. Is this a state line thing we got a problem yeah. with? We'll take it over. Hey, it's ours. No, it's Agent ours. Johnson, Agent Johnson. No I never understood that because it's a lot of paperwork. Why would anyone want to do that? I don't yeah, know. I don't want to take this job. Fuck that. You, you do it. You, oh, are you serious? Well, you have to. Box, yeah. man. You know. Holy shit, it's the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. We, we get it. We, we, you don't like the guy. Oh, wait. <laughs> Maybe they do like him. <laughs> I don't think it's obvious. <laughs> what do they mean by this? Does X mean mark the spot? Like, this is the one we want? Justin, you should be happy. She's um, she's eating at a Denny's. Nuts. No, she's eating nuts. Apparently. Oh, I was eating nuts earlier. Yeah. She shares your. Oh no, it's not nuts. Sorry, I thought it was nuts. It's pieces of bread. She's bread. Oh. It's a lot of carbs, babe. Fifteen dollars for bread. <laughs> eight sixty four. Even that eight sixty four for bread. It's pretty expensive. I'm gonna talk to your manager. I don't got any money, so I'm ditching dive. See you later. What? <laughs> Dinah did, excuse me. Hey, Forsyth. You go to this Denny's too? He literally ditched her. <laughs> I guess she's paying for it. It's going to follow him. That's what's going to happen. Uh huh. They're going to get caught. Well, Bosworth didn't notice fucking Forsyth looking at him? Apparently not. I mean, how do you not notice William? Beer yeah, belly guy's like six ten, you know. <laughs> He's the biggest fuck. He has a skunk fucking thing on his left arm. Did you get this shit right, Justin? Yeah, well, and, and he's got, like, brick, like, a wall behind. Like, see the design? It's, like, broke. Oh, like, Donald Trump oh, loves that shit. Breaking through walls. Oh, yeah. No. I'm the one with the crystal in my ear. Joe Stone, cold. Okay, so we've established that he sucks at <laughs> sucks at shooting. I mean, he just shot wildly at a guy. He, that guy could have been his cousin. You have no idea. He's not in a cop uniform. Yeah, could have been his lover. Could have been you know, his, lover, his yeah. father. <laughs> Could have been his brother. Foresight's by the eating, I think. Could have been his third grade English teacher. Yeah, it could have been any of those things. Oddly, they stay in touch all these years. I said I, I said I come in peace reference earlier. That gun that William Forsyth's using is the gun from I Come in Peace. But it was like a laser gun. That's but not how that model. works. <laughs> no, apparently that gun is really... And I Come in well, Peace I'm is okay powerful too. It. That gun was like the fucking like, oh shit, you seen that gun's got like a fucking a barrel for the clip on the top of it. It was like a real big thing back in the day. Where's Tom Cruise at? <laughs> Bankhead tunnel. Oh no. Motorcycles don't work in there. Nope. Same car. Same car. <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> Three of the same cars he passed? <laughs> oh, my God. What? A motorcyclist? Another motorcyclist? Oh, whoa. <laughs> Forsyth's having a blast. Hey, wait. Are you William Forsyth? He's having a blast, even in a shitty movie. Makes me, this makes me happy. Oh, it looks like they're on Interstate 10 right there. Mm hmm. Saw that. Saw that. I saw that. Armed. Whee! He's across the tracks, the wrong side of the tracks. He's, yeah. Wait. Wait. What? 
Okay. I don't know. That was not William Forsythe. That that that's, that's a... Did you? Whoa! Wait, whoa! Whoa! That's how that doesn't work. <laughs> Look, he has the fucking black smoke on his face like a goddamn cartoon. <laughs> oh, man. Good act. Good job. Forsythe, for the time you were in this movie, you chewed the shit out of it. Good job. You, man. Now we got Good 30. Job. Minutes without him. God damn it. Lance, you got a, some heavy lifting going on here. Yep. I'm surprised. Whip, pu- oh, I thought they said whip pussy, but whip pushes for different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what a headline. <laughs> I mean, I know Florida's got their problems and all. This ain't Florida. They went back to oh, uh, right. I keep getting out. Biloxi. Whatever that is. Biloxi Blue. Sorry, Matthew Broderick and uh, Christopher Walken. You ever seen that movie? Yes, I have. Great film. But I'm trying to figure out if this is an undercover. How what? How, how would they? How would they cross-reference the license? I, <laughs> huh? The the, the, the undercover that. work here was not done. I think she's gonna get. Uh, back in good graces with Lance Henriksen by turning on him, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a way out, though. Oh, maybe not. That doesn't that doesn't mix the names are cross referenced. <laughs> you mean you we cross reference the names and get, never mind. Yeah, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they know what technology me. means. <laughs> Not, not the grenade throwing or the car's no. just exploding because no reason. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't, it's just not uncovered. They, they wouldn't, right? They wouldn't link yeah. his license. I don't know. No, they wouldn't do that. I don't know. Anyway, star, uh, <laughs> save us, Lance. <laughs> save us. Are they going to sacrifice No, we've watched two. We've watched two movies in a row. Uh, we watched Fire Down Below la- as we were recording this, the last movie we did a commentary on. And we had a really good one two punch villain combo. We had Stephen Lang and Chris Christoph for Sir Hammer Shit. Yeah, yeah. And now we got another one with fucking Lance Henderson and William Forsythe. We yeah. got a good role with bad guys. And they're both like in the South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Racist like the, as fuck. Southern. <laughs> Super racist. Are you guys trying to tell me something? Is, this, is there a, is a message going on here? I don't know. You're the one picking them. <laughs> that's true <laughs> remember i've never seen the end of this so i didn't know who's gonna i mean she's got a confederate flag fucking bandana so i'm just <laughs> yeah i don't know i'm still i wear my sunglasses at night oh he said valhalla's mad max fury road oh shit mediocre oh wow that's his body. This is crazy. Burn him. This is wild. Given that Viking funeral. Forsythe's dead and he's still fucking out acting Bosworth. That's a dead man. Light it up, Forsyth's boys. Stone has been outdone by the dead man. That's a WWE reference because Stone Cold fought Undertaker at uh, Highway to Hell back in 2000. <laughs> Forza has to take that. That was amazing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you want to be around that. Witness me. Wait, wait, you just sprayed it all over me. Oh god. There's a lot of gasoline. The fuck? She knows that he killed him? You know what? That's how I want to go. Lit on fire by Lance Hendrickson, of course. Minus the whole Aryan race thing. Oh, well, that changes things. And the fossil fuels. Mm. You're big into electric cars, I hear. I am, yeah. California. <laughs> Fucking California. <laughs> <laughs> you touch me and I'll sue. Sorry. I think I'm, I think I'm remember. Uh, what other movie he was in? I'm telling you, he's the guy in Rocky. Uh, no, the, the no, I believe it, but I think I recently watched another movie he was in. Let me look it up. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, 
His name is Richard Grant, by the way. He was in Norbit. Oh, that's where it was. Big Lebowski. He's older cop. <laughs> the Chai. This is us, of course. Yeah, I think it was Jason Goes to Hell. Yeah, I think it might have been that. It's that soul man. <laughs> Back he in was in a Steven Seagal film. Whoa, which one? Not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Boston <Which> League. <legal>. one? <laughs> <laughs> He's known for Norbit, which is amazing. It's got a Wayne's brother in it. He was on Deadwood, which is fucking fantastic for him. He was on Dragnet with Ed O'Neill. Jag. He's did a lot of work. Smallville. Principal in Smallville. Titus. FBI agent. Probably playing the same character. And Mr. Bean the movie. Moesha. Nutty Professor. Moesha. NYPD. Bleh. Don't have a clock, okay? I'm sorry, man. Can't afford one, but this price is pretty steep. Can I ask a question, Bosworth? Uh, is that a skunk on your arm? Yeah, or on your head? What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, Mr. Math over here. You can't spend it if you get paid more. You gotta buy some bonds, boy. He does have blue eyes, by the way. So he's an Aaron. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Let's nego- renegotiate with a gun. I don't negotiate with denim wearing motherfuckers like you. <laughs> Not a bullet to the head. Well, I've got Samuel Jackson, who was in the negotiator, right here. Yeah. And what? <laughs> he started to get what opposite another guy, <laughs> which I cannot remember what his name was for the life of me. <laughs> I think it's really a good thing to be outnumbered here, pulling out a gun. Yeah. So the cop just murdered a man. Or did he? I guess I'm not going to check the body for, I don't know. There was oh, blood, Lance, though. There was yeah. blood. Uh, I mean, blood. Lance, I could totally see the scene being, you know, with a vest on or something. Yeah, if I was Lance Henderson, I'd shoot him again in the fucking head just to make sure. Oh, he's definitely dead, right? No. Or he's got blood, blood packets Lance, on. Got, got the blood ketchup packets. coming out of his fucking neck. That wasn't blood. I mean, that's the, the, if you knocked him off like a pier into the water, maybe they believe it. That would be a cool scene where like they set this up and, and Lance goes over and shoots him right in the face. Or, oh, they didn't expect right in the fucking that. Face. <laughs> Gotta make sure. <laughs> and then Shit. fucking Stone Cold's on, the, on the, the hook for killing an FBI agent, even though he didn't. He was just trying to get deeper undercover, but Lance Henderson saw through that fucking plot. Why am I making a better movie? Fuck, I'm sorry. Optimus rollout. <laughs> You know how to drive one of those? Well, he's a cop. It's, it's, not, it's not easy. No. You got to learn. Doesn't look, look like he's even working the gears at all. Nope. A lot of, for, a lot of, a lot of symbolism with the cr- railroad tracks. Something's about to go down. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look at that rotoscoping. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. There you go. But you ruined the shirt. It's a fucking (laughs) Haynes from fucking. (laughs) God, I would have loved that if Lance just shot him in the face. Dude, I just wrote the better movie, right? I just changed the whole movie, didn't I? Like, if they built it up. Oh, like he thought he got away with it. You know, Bosworth like gives him a look like, hey, hey, and Lance goes, hey, 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 and shoots him in the fucking head. And he watches the fucking smile just drip off his face. <laughs> or maybe it was his brother, you oh, know? 
Wow. The last 15 minutes they were planning this, this operation. old ladies included <laughs> yeah you know what i i hope you burn the old fucking ladies because i'm sick and tired of them myself yo Freaking easy they're you're, fucking you're soup back ages. to the deli you're fucking justin Pelizzi, ages once again he's popping out hates old people always has always will gotta get rid of them send them back to their country <laughs> their old country the old country i really want a gay action star god you got captain marvel Wait, wait, did I say that out loud? I meant, I meant, uh, no, I didn't mean that. What? Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, sorry, okay, bye bye. Sorry, bye bye. You're going to recognize ketchup. I eat ketchup all the time. I have A1 sauce. Come on, man. That guy I've seen before, too. Yeah, no, I said that I can't mm. place them. Well, these, because they're character actors, it's hard to place them because they're chameleons. But I give them credit. I mean, this is like a movie I would not expect a whole bunch of these guys to be in. Mm. He was in a... Um, uh, was he in Harley Davidson, The Marvel Man? Because I saw that recently. Oh, uh, you know where? I, he's in Bosch on Amazon. Uh, um, that's where recently I saw him in. But he's... Uh, He's What's his character's name in this movie? What's his character's name? In what? In, in Stone Cold, that the guy with the beret. I don't, it doesn't say on Google. He's in Cliffhanger. He's in Batman Returns. So he had a pretty good. Batman Returns. He had a pretty good couple games. Let's see, what else? Cliffhanger what? is another great movie, by the way. What? Good resume. Batman Cliffhanger. Returns? No, Cliffhanger, man. Oh, Cliffhanger's great, yeah. I like Batman Returns. Too. Cliffhanger might have one of the best opening scenes. It's got to be oh, like the girl. Yeah, man, that's a yeah. that's a crazy opening to a movie. Oh, he's in uh, Always Sunny as well. That's where I remember from yeah. Always Sunny. He's the crazy Always fucking. Sunny. Okay, now I I know I kept. I was like, I know that guy. It's it's hard because he's wearing the the sunglasses. He's got that the, beard. The beard. Yeah, he's the crazy fucking Always you Sunny. Can, you can see it. That's where I remember him from. Isn't he what you calls dad? Mac's dad, I think. I think he's Mac. He's something to Mac. I can't remember. God damn it! It's gonna bother me now. That's why we. That's why we can't drink when we. Uh, <laughs> we do these movie commentaries. I'm drinking that fucking goddamn Fiji water, fucking thing. <laughs> drinking that Fiji. Cool guy. What Tom oh. Sizemore? It's that fucking guy again. All right, so be it. Okay. All right. I'm not going to take offense to that. Uh, Pretty sure that wouldn't work, but whatever. I think that's... Well, it might. Who knows? Let's go try it. <laughs> wow. Like I had a rat tail. You, yo, Stone Cold, you literally killed everybody at that gas station. Yeah. <laughs> That that student that was working at nights to get through school dead. dead. <laughs> the mom of the mother of three dead. It's like it's like the Amazing Spider Man. Um, I was watching Amazing Spider Man two. Oh, you mean the truck scene with Rhino at the beginning of the movie where he kills everybody in New York City? Time, like the Amazing Spider Man series. Like S- Spider Man's a complete asshole. Asshole. Yeah. And a lot of people get killed. No one yeah. really brings that up. That's why I like Tom Holland, because he's uh, actually Spider-Man. Yeah, well. <laughs> Literally is Spider-Man. <laughs> he walks around. The first one, isn't Spider-Man essentially putting on the costume because he's seeking revenge? He doesn't want yeah. anyone to yeah. <laughs> Well, that's from the comic books. He was, gonna, he, he was wearing the costume, though, trying yeah, to get revenge, and he realized he wasn't going to. It beats the shit out of a whole bunch of innocent people. No. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's for the movie. <laughs> that's a new <laughs> Don't get me started. Don't get me started. That guy's kind of scary looking. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Really That's good funny. casting there. <laughs> I don't think they cast him. <laughs> I think they found that guy. He just showed up one day. <laughs> Can I be in your movie? Can I be in your movie? Okay, <laughs> me, fine. Sure. Let's put him in the background, guys. We got to put, uh, put these fake Nazi tattoos. Oh, wait. You already have them. Oh, never mind. 
Saved us some money. There's the butt photo. There's no knife in it. You mm. are. His glasses are keep changing, by the way. Yeah, I, I get he's got style. He's a cool I, guy. I picture, I picture Lance as a room full of sunglasses. Look at that little dancer on the wall over there. That's cute. That's nice. I like it. Oh, the fucking Mexican! <laughs> fucking spider in his ear. Russian roulette. Oh, maybe that. Oh, we're doing the reversal. One shell, one chamber empty, rest them full. Yep. Oh no, three. That's still 50, bad 50. odds. Plants 50, 50, 50. 50. Hey, two face. Yeah. What was that name you called me? Dude, I thought you were dead. Half. Shit, I can't do that quick math. What is that? Uh, 50, uh, uh, uh oh, shit. 38, uh, fuck. <laughs> what a name. Please shoot the girl. Please shoot the girl. Wow. I was, I didn't think they would have the balls to do it. Henderson, don't give a fuck. What's the math now? One bullet left. <laughs> I can't do the math. <laughs> Don't worry, she had AIDS. Wow, he shot her, man. That's crazy. What? Oh! Who Two. cares? Oh! The rest of you guys shoot him. He just pisses himself. Give this movie props. They had the balls to kill the love interest. That's crazy. Yeah. And, and like, and, and the hero could do nothing about it. <laughs> it's when the Bonneville was new. It's not a bad movie. It's pretty bad. I was expecting <laughs> this to be a far worse than what it is. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm just walking through here. Don't mind me. I'm just carrying a shotgun in broad daylight. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if they kill the the DA, I, I, I'm going to give this an okay movie. It might, if, it, if it goes down like Arlington Road, we're like Jeff Bridges, spoiler alert for Arlington Road. Hey, hey, it's in my queue. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody says out there. Arlington Road is a really good movie with the most, one of the most dark endings you'll ever see. <laughs> Up there with The Mist, I would say. The Mist is the winner for me. That's the most dark ending of a movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's like, holy fuck, right. I don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> How the studio green like this? How was that iced tea? Mm. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Huh? Well, two he... lines for this district attorney who's kind of maybe a little bit important to, I don't know, where are we, Mississippi? Who cares? Wow, Anderson, he looks like Bishop. Oh, that's God fucking yes. awesome. That's awesome. Sorry, father. I ain't your father, boy. We need to, we need to do like a Lance Henderson re retrospective, man. This guy's great. I think we, I think we will. I mean, Terminator. We forget he's in Terminator for a little bit. Oh, he's he's one of the best, one of the best character actors. TV show Millennium, Millennium, which I think ties into X Files, which ties into. Uh, through, uh, the Lone Gunman, which ties into fucking Law and Order SVU, which ties into Luther. Yeah, man. You just all connected, there. baby. There we go. Shit's about to hit the fucking fan. Hmm. Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell. His name is Trouble. I mean, it's right name. there, guys. You couldn't see it? Come on. 
for kids' sake, you could have got this guy. They're going to drop the bomb on the place. Bosworth's the bomb, literally. Jack Black had a gun to his head. <laughs> God damn it, Jack Black. God damn it. <laughs> the weakness is the ropes. That's my weakness. Ropes. This is back in the day when you can sneak an MP5 into a fucking courthouse. <laughs> oh, you can still. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, mm. Well, yeah, this is, this is the Bible Belt. You can probably get a gun in there. Fuck it, a, bitch. <laughs> That's not a good place to keep the fuel line. You're already halfway to heaven. Now you're halfway to hell. I'm just wa- I'm waiting for my cousin Vinny to show up in this, you know. Yeah, I would love to hear this. I'm voir dire the witness. <laughs> Another movie that had Herman Monster. Oh, good one. As the judge. like it. Different Herman Munster, but... The Herman Monster. The Herman Monster. (laughs) A what? A a what? (laughs) 40 seconds. That's not a lot of time, though. (laughs) I mean, give a solid minute, guys. Come on. Jesus. Time to fly away. Oh, shit. He's got strength. That's not how helicopters... Wait, what? You have now. I saw Mission Impossible Fallout, and that movie proved that if that stuff gets in your face, it will melt your face. It's pretty Ask hot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. His face should be Henry Cavill got a little bit of that stuff in his face and melted it like fucking Two Face for real. Yeah, and you doing? I'm the milkman. Very realistic. Watch Mission Impossible Fallout, kids. A really good movie. Amazing. One of the Ten seconds. I've seen this year, other than John Wick Three. Oh boy, that guy's about to go for a ride. Yeah, you're dead. I'm a district attorney. Yeah. Yeah, like we're we're like at five seconds. Yeah, four, three, two. Airmail. <laughs> wow. He shot the cop that Boswell shot him. That's a cool way to kill a guy. Is Thomas a for real asshole? Lance Henderson, good villain, man. Pretty damn good. He he kind of did what I wanted him to do, but he just did it later. <laughs> Wait, that priest has a gun. (laughs) He's more violent than the actual Vatican. This guy must be worth it. I guess. Maybe he's his brother. Maybe we missed that detail. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I'm I'm rooting for Hendrickson here. I'm rooting for Hendrickson. Though he's a Nazi and a Confederate, and he probably would shoot me as much as look at me. Yeah. Hey, that guy shaved too. He was the other guy with the beard. I didn't recognize him. Oh, well, yeah, I think it was shaved. Woo. He's just like the bad guys in uh, Die Hard 2. Yo, Henderson, come on. <laughs> come on, baby. This movie might be too good for us to be doing a commentary on. <laughs> it's Gallagher. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne just jumped through the window. Window, what's going on? <laughs> <Got him all! laughs> oh wow, didn't make it. That's not how it works, but all right. Well, they killed them. That's pretty badass. Damn, this is very dangerous. <laughs> Can't really do this in real life. Uh, helicopters are told not to uh, fly that low. Yeah, that's <laughs> super dangerous. A lot of, super. A lot of power this, lines. This, is for real. this ain't CG, uh, Justin. This is real. Hey, ni- hey, in the 90s, they weren't fucking around. Okay? I mean, fuck, that broke so many laws. Oh, no, they shot the window. Send in Robocop. Drop it, Grape. Dead or alive. You know, it's funny. Lance Henriksen pretty much accomplished everything he's wanted to do. He's yep. caught the cop. Yep. He's killed the cop's girlfriend. He's killed the whip. He's got his boy out of prison. Yep. He's done pretty much, even if he loses, he kind of won. He's accomplished everything. Everything. He gets a gold star. <laughs> Oh, 
Angels are already. Wait, what? Everybody bail. You're on your own. Okay. Is he gonna Please jump? Please jumping. Oh my god, it's great. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's Captain America with a soldier in it. He fucking hit his head on fucking marble. Concrete from a helicopter after going through plate glass. A fucking marble. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the fuck? Justin, slow the movie down. Slow it down. Are we watching Angel Has Fallen? <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Did we get an early copy of Angel Has Fallen? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do that movie. Uh oh, line coming. Oh, yeah. maybe not. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be a cool line. <laughs> See, a better yeah. actor would have said some. Oh, that's a good that, gun. That would have been really cool. Yeah. Gallagher! Oh, shit. Whoa, he's got a fucking grenade. <laughs> I don't think that was a grenade. I think the bike is exploded. Whoa! Mill terrain plan today. It's one of the rare action movies where the, mil- the, the the actual cops in the military are doing damage. Well, except for that part right there, but <laughs> Mudfish. Mudfish is the guy to put the cigarette out on Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 2. I hope this movie ends with him getting shot by the army because they don't know he's a bad guy. Oh, that'd be great. Again, you're writing a better movie. He don't want anything to do with this reluctant villain. Wow. What happened to the woman he was holding? Oh. That was a good stunt, man. Yeah. Some good stunts in this movie. Again, that guy's deaf. (laughs) Can't have a gun go off by your head that fast, that loud, or that close, excuse me. How is the helicopter still? Didn't he like? Didn't Boswell like rip a bunch of wires out? Yeah, that too. And also, it was getting shot at. And I'm surprised nobody else is shooting at it. Yeah. There's a there's a fucking window behind him for a reason. Uh-oh. There's gonna be a. We're about to see something, aren't we? We're about to watch something. Did you see aren't that we? window? Yeah, I did see that window. That was set up. <laughs> well, Justin, what's what's about to happen here? I I don't know. This is about to be great. Put this in the archives, folks. It's a Stargrove moment. Die, Stargrove. Whee! Yes! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the winner of the 1991 Academy Award Whoa! for Best Picture is Stone Cold starring Brian Foster. Holy shit. Oh, man, I think I just came. That was worth it. <laughs> That was all, that was worth it. That was amazing. How did I fall yeah. asleep in this movie? I don't. You fell asleep at the wrong time. Mike. I missed an epic. I missed Lawrence of Arabia of dumb action movies. Benny, Jeez. is there a sequel? Please tell me there's a. Sequel. Please, Christ, tell me there's a sequel to this. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, you see, he's got some of that oil on him too. Oh like, yeah. Helicopter. Hey, very good guys. Thank you. Continuity. I knew it. He better than Game of Thrones. <laughs> You're right. He, he accomplished it all. Oh. Yeah, you were late. He fucked up. <laughs> How the hell did that work? Welcome to my slaughter ass. It doesn't even matter what happens now. He won. I won. Kill me. I won. Why would you throw him toward the weapon, Buzz? Well, you know. Got a nice watch for a biker. I'm sure he bought it. Mm-hmm. Pick it up. He got blood in his crystal earring, by the way. That's that's a good thing. It's a good job, man. It's pretty cool. He's got the he's got the extra clip ta- taped up to the old. The that's old. old. You know what that's from? Die Hard Two. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. I, I like that little detail. I like good job, guys. I think the production designer in this movie is pretty good. I, Suck I my dick. His face fucks him to death. 
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's a different movie. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a completely different movie. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Mm-hmm. Took the family out to a nice little action film, and this guy's fucking him in the face <laughs> to death. I'm paralyzed now. I, you can't kill me. I, I can't walk. <laughs> Just kill me. <laughs> Open your mouth. I'm going to blow my load in your mouth. <laughs> Wow. I he almost did a Joker line there. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? No, I think I do think about the future. Hey, Eggart, <laughs> think about the future. <laughs> well, technically, if he's not dead, he is in it. So did he have a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> I mean he's he's a cop. He can't really kill a guy. I mean, come on, people. What do you think we're watching here? He literally just killed a guy. Oh, no, his jeans. <laughs> and you know what's funny? His jeans aren't ruined. They're even better. Yeah. This is the That's 90s. Very stylish. <laughs> Let's have what? A, a handshake? Oh, my oh, gun? God. Oh, no. Oh, Lethal Weapon 1 reference about to happen here. And a black guy here. Oh, his buddy. He's, his buddy is. That's the shot from Die Hard 1. His buddy is fucking your boy. Um, ow. Pow. They fucked you out to drive through. They no, 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 no. That's, like the I, that's the shot. That's literally the shot from Die Hard 1 when Al Pal shoots Carl. Pretty much. <laughs> that's the, it was the exact same rack focus to his face holding the yeah. gun. It's the same yeah. shot. Put it side by side, Justin. The only difference is there's no, like, fucking rain and mud. <laughs> It's the same shot from Die Hard 1 at the end. People say that Die Hard didn't influence things. It sure, yeah. damn sure the end of Stone Cold starring Brian Boss with his fucking John Huff Stone. Woo! Lance I, 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 have, I have been hard this entire movie. I mean, rock hard. I have an Stone erection that's lasted an hour <laughs> and a half now. I mean, look at this. It's, it's even ending like Die Hard. Look at this. Fuck Gregory yeah. Scott wasn't the only one coming. I know. I wish there was like a rubber reporter that like was throughout the movie that was annoying. And he <laughs> one eye, Rick L. Birchfield, Big John, Smokey, six and Six Pack, Martinez, played by Michael Wren. What? He's <laughs> going back to the Cool Guy Club. No, oh, definitely going back to the Cool Guy Club. Probably wearing that same outfit, covered in blood. Look at that. Fucking badass. Hey, John, you're bleeding. It's not mine. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. What a fucking ace. Look at that guy. Look at that beard. <laughs> Stash. Everybody get back. Get back from John Stone. Like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> who the fuck is this guy? Is that football player? Hey, did you play for the Seattle Seahawks? Didn't Bo Jackson rape you on the field? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fido. I'm part of the cool guy club. <laughs> that was fucking. That was a great film. Man, you got ED problems. You watch this. <laughs> Honey, I can't get it up. All right, we'll play so gold. Popping in for it. This is a Blu ray copy, by the way. Oh, holy shit. Wow. I'm not blue balled anymore. I can tell you that. <laughs> fuck yeah. Holy fuck. This is America, oh, motherfucker. Jesus. I mean, you want to get me hard. This reference Die Hard for a couple of times. <laughs> and the climactic end of the movie is reference to Die Hard. Oh. Lethal oh. Weapon. Got a lot. Lethal Weapon and Die Hard put together yeah. referenced in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> because Carl was in a body bag with the gun, which makes no sense. But whatever. He had the gun, I guess, taped to his arm. But, but at the end of Lethal Weapon, what? Gary Busey reaches for the gun of the cop. So he took the one instance where Gary Busey reached for the gun of the cop and then melded it with Al Powell shooting Carl who reached out of the yep. body bag. So they took two fucking movies from the fucking 80s. They put together Pretty much. fucking lethal hard or die lethal or die weapon or something. It would have been funny if, if Hal Powell like missed them and hit Oh, the, fuck. Hit John? Hit the kid behind him. <laughs> the kid was behind him. <laughs> hit another kid. I killed, a, I killed a kid. And then killed another kid. I killed another kid. And then my friend, I, I told my, my, my secret to got shot by some guy named Carl. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'll go get my Twinkies somewhere else. <laughs> uh, that was good. I'm, well, I'm happy. I'm happy you got to finally finish this film. It's, finally. I, I'm wide awake now. 
cranked for 20 up. years you've been waiting. 20, the 28 years I have not w- I've waited to see the end of that movie, and I finally got oh. to see it. It yeah. was well worth the wait, I think. That was the climax. That was uh, <laughs> good for them. Good for them. I think, you know, kind of dropped a little bit, but, uh, you know, picked up Corey at the end there. Shot the love interest. Think about that. Well, you know, she wasn't really that. You yeah, know, he, she, he's fucking that. Fucking well, if it wasn't the bullet that killed her, it would have been the AIDS. So, I mean. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did her a favor. Doing her a favor, definitely. Without, <laughs> without. Yeah, that was great. I enjoyed hey, what, that. What do you think happened with the Komodo dragon? Oh, it's dead. Obviously, he hasn't been getting fed. Yeah, I mean, nobody's watching that thing. I mean, <laughs> it's the entire on. time. I mean, I, I, I want to know what happened. It's egg, uh, banana, Snickers, chips, milkshakes every morning. <laughs> well, I'm wondering if that girl's still in bed waiting for him to get back. <laughs> John. <laughs> it's, the, it's the after credit scene. <laughs> Who was very nice to cover up, but every other woman in the movie was naked. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. <laughs> the, the, they ran the music. <laughs> John, you coming back? You coming it's like back? on the moon. <laughs> it's been... Good job. <laughs> I'm more nuts. Oh, God. That was good. Oh, I enjoyed that. That was, that was great. Good choice by me. Good choice. Off good. And it ended off great. It ended off pretty good, too. So that's pretty great. <laughs> I mean, I think I liked it better than Fire Down Below. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Fire, Down Below, Fire Down Below is such a stale fucking movie. It, the problem is they didn't use Chris Christopherson. Chris Christopherson was they could use him. The artwork for Fire Down Below was originally was just uh, with the plate and the, the um, corn on the cob. Oh We're my just going to have that. Because <laughs> it's hilarious. Because if you think about it, right? I, I'm, I'm looking at it because that was originally the artwork. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking at it. I'm going, she walks away from a table with a, with a, with a, with a real plate, a heavy real plate with a corn on a cob on it. How is she going to eat that corn on a cob with one hand? You know, it's got to hold the pe- plate. That's one of my pet peeves in movies, by the I way. I get when, that. When people, like, have food in movies or drink, and they never fucking eat it. It pisses me off no. every time I see it. I hate it. But honestly, it could have been anything else. But corn on a cob, you need two fucking hands to oh, eat. Oh, you definitely need two hands. You can't eat it with one hand. Unless you're going to no. slice the fucking corn up, but you need two hands to slice the corn off. How the fuck can you do that? It doesn't make any sense. You got to put it in your mouth. You gotta hold the plate. Like a, like a, it doesn't make sense. But I, I was like, I can't, I can't just. So I had, I had a couple little things. To do. <laughs> but to me, I was like, that's that should be the artwork because it's so fucking stupid. No one thought about it. The, the director was like, just, just, just walk out there. Just walk out there. Here, here. Use your corner cop. <laughs> but I, I got whatever, 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 whatever. <laughs> Let's do it. I get paid whether you do it right or not. I don't care. I get paid regardless. I've already got paid, all right? So I don't really fuck it. <laughs> this, is, this is all gravy to me. I don't care what happens. <laughs> oh, boy. That was good. That was good. Good job. I think that movie was so fucking good. I, we got, okay, we got to keep, we have a good villain streak. We got to keep finding movies. The helicopter good. was great. Fucking amazing. 